Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric. There are several reasons to visit national parks. Stunning scenery, great hiking, so much more. One of my favorites is wildlife. And I think if you like animals, you'll want to see this list. Because I'm not just basing this on my experience. I'm talking every experience out there, how likely you are to have an incredible animal sighting. Because there's nothing quite like being out there in the wilderness, not too far, but a safe distance, of course, from a bison or a bear or a shark or anything else. There's remarkable wildlife in the U.S. national parks, and here are the 10 parks you'll most want to visit if you love wildlife. Based both off statistical likelihood of seeing good wildlife and my personal experience, let's begin. Number 10 is Channel Islands National Park in California. To get here, you have to go by boat or plane. And if you take that boat ride, you are very likely to see several dolphins. You might see sea lions, whales, porpoises, so much more. And on the islands, mainly Santa Cruz Island, the Channel Islands fox is a wonderful wildlife sighting. This mammal I have seen both of my visits, and you are very likely to as well. They're adorable and a very fascinating creature. So if you like that ocean life or seeing the unique and very rare Channel Islands fox, this is definitely a strong park to go to for wildlife. Number 9 is Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. One of many wonderful mountain national parks that have so much wildlife. Here you will find moose, elk, deer, bears, coyotes, and more. I find you are very likely to find a herd of some sort of ungulate, whether it be the bighorn sheep, elk, or anything else. And I found quite a few on my recent visit all around different parts of the park. So no matter where you go, you can be greeted at the entrance by a moose, which I was able to experience, or you can be on a trail running into something. There's a lot to enjoy with the wildlife here, and while it's not the number one mountainous national park for wildlife sightings, it's up there. Number eight is Everglades National Park in Florida. As a Floridian, the wildlife here is not as exotic for me, but for anyone outside of Florida, it's about as exotic as you can get, and maybe it should be a little higher on the list. Of course, alligators and crocodiles are a big draw here. You are practically guaranteed to see a gator, unless you are really bad at looking. There is a ton of wildlife here outside of that though, primarily birds. The bird watching is some of the best here. There are rosette spoonbills, blue herons, wood storks, cormorants, and hingas. The list goes on and on and on. You might find some nice fish here. You might even find a mammal if you're lucky, namely a Florida panther. Those are very unlikely, though. The main thing is the gators, the birds, and all that coastal life. It's certainly one where wildlife is the main draw, so of course it had to make the list. Number seven is Glacier National Park in Montana. As far north as you can get, basically, touching the Canadian border, you have so much to enjoy here, similar to Rocky Mountain National Park. You might enjoy sightings of bears, Grizzly bears are our main draw here, as there are over 300 of them in the park. You might find a moose. You might find mountain goats, which are one of my favorites here. You're pretty much guaranteed to find deer, which are not the most exotic, but still a nice setting, of course. If you're going on some of the deeper backcountry trails, you might run into elk or bighorn sheep or some bald eagles. There are plenty of animals all around, whether you're on the main going to the Sun Road, where I was able to find a black bear at one point, or you're hiking in the back far parts where there's a herd of deer just kind of around Granite Park Chalet, you're very likely to see something, and almost as likely to see a lot of things. Number six is Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. So much to see here. Whether you are along the main drive, finding herds of bison, my favorite animal in National Park, by the way, elk, pronghorn antelope, bighorn sheep, or anything else, or you're on the Snake River, looking at beavers and bald eagles and a moose. I find that every area I went to in the park, the deep hiking trails along the Tetons, the far east part of the park, the more developed areas even, I was able to find something. It's countless opportunities to see wildlife, and even a casual drive through the park is practically guaranteed to lead to a great spotting. Number five is Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota probably one of the least visited national parks on this list, and one you may not have even heard of. Though I do promise, wildlife settings here are very worth visiting for. Bison are the main draw here, I would say, as you are pretty much guaranteed. More so than basically any other animal I've mentioned so far besides alligators. They are all over the place, 
North unit, South unit, massive herds of them. You'll find the bulls, the calves. The bison are a wonderful sighting here. And while here I was able to see wild horses, elk, deer, pronghorn antelope, and a guaranteed sighting that's not a huge wildlife sighting, but still fun. In the North unit, there is a herd of longhorn steer kept as a living history exhibit. But there's a lot to see here, and as you're in that Badlands area, you might get lucky finding a coyote or some bighorn sheep, and you don't need to be too lucky to find a very nice smaller wildlife setting, prairie dogs. Prairie dogs are cute little buggers, and there are quite a few towns, in quotes, it's not real civilizations, but tons of prairie dog burrows all along the main scenic drives, so I think Theodore Roosevelt is one of the best to get out in the wilderness and experience the animal life. Number four is Lake Clark National Park in Alaska. The first of Alaska parks on this list, Lake Clark is one where I was able to see four of the Big Five Alaskan mammals. For those who do not know, the Big Five are grizzly bears, dull sheep, wolves, caribou, and moose. The one I did not see here was kind of interesting, actually, because caribou I find more often in the other Alaska parks, and caribou I did not find here. But seeing a wolf for the first time in a national park over nearby the Cook Inlet was surreal. My experiences play a big role in where this one ranks, though I do think this is one of the best national parks to see grizzly bears, above Glacier for sure, by a long shot. And I was able to find a dull sheep up in the mountains, seeing some moose from above in an airplane. When you're flying above, when you're low enough, you have a good chance of spotting some wildlife. Even going between Lake Clark and another national park I'll get to pretty soon, we found some seals, and they're very rare. They're a freshwater seal from what I understood from the pilot. I'll have to look into that more. But I found that the bear sightings here are the ones you're pretty much guaranteed to get if you go to certain areas of the park. And if you stay in the main Port Allsworth area, don't go outside of it, you're less likely, which is why I didn't put it as high as a few other parks. But if you're willing to get out there and enjoy other parts of Lake Clark, wildlife is some of the best. Number three is Denali National Park, also in Alaska. The Big Five here, this is really where you talk about them. This is where people know the Big Five from, Denali. And while I've not seen a wolf here, moose are pretty much a guarantee on the main road. They are all over the place. They're at the visitor center. Moose are a very likely sighting. And going further into the road, I've seen dull sheep on both of my visits and caribou on both as well. I find that you might be a little less lucky with the bears because they might be afar off in the distance, but on a more recent visit, I found that the bears were quite close and easy to get photos of. So seeing four of the big five twice in a row, maybe I struck it lucky. Maybe I won the lottery of finding animals. But I feel that Denali has so much for the wildlife even outside of that. Outside of those animals, you might find some ptarmigans, you might find red foxes, Denali was number two on this list for quite a while for me. I always thought it was one of the best for wildlife. It definitely is. And even with the mountain being the main draw, this is nothing to sneeze at. Number two is Katmai National Park, final one in Alaska. This is the best Alaskan park for wildlife because of the likelihood of you seeing something. If you come in summer, which approximately 99% of people do, the brown bears are what you are most likely to see. There are several at Brooks Falls. Brooks Falls is where everyone goes. You're on a safe platform looking at them fishing for salmon, and while you are in a safe area, you feel right there with the bears. It's one of the best wildlife experiences you'll ever have. I was able to see a good number of bears. You see the big male bears, you see the mother with her cubs, and even if you don't get to the falls for whatever reason, that's fine. Because the bears are just walking around the main camping and civilization areas to the point where you're very likely to, during your visit, hear a ranger tell you to get inside because a bear is on the loose in a major populated area. So that is enough to speak for how likely you are to find the bears and enjoy that experience watching them. It might be even a little scary even. I find it was one of the most frightening wildlife experiences I've had. But I still think if you're up for the wildlife sighting and risking a little bit of a scare and you're fully prepared, you have to get here. You may notice I haven't really talked about my main experience here that much. Outside of the bears, I saw caribou, I saw moose, but the bears are really the main draw. And this is the 
best wildlife setting possibly you can have in America. But number one is Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, and of course Montana and Idaho, but mainly Wyoming. Why does Yellowstone beat the pretty much guaranteed bear sightings, some of the best in the world? Well, Yellowstone has guaranteed bison. I think if you did a drive into the park from the bottom, let's say you go to Old Faithful, go to Grand Prismatic Spring, maybe go a bit further up, then leave through the bottom, you are going to see a bison. And if not, you're going to see an elk or a pronghorn antelope or a deer or a bear, black or grizzly, or even a bighorn sheep, though that's more than northern region. Yellowstone is the park to see wildlife. There's a good reason why countless visitors go solely to visit Lamar Valley in hopes of spotting a gray wolf. It's incredible. Both visits I've taken to this park in fairly recent memory, I have found more mammals and unique sightings than any other national park. It's always wonderful to be there with a herd of bison. That's one of my favorite wildlife settings anywhere. And of course, besides that, you have the more common deer, even rabbits and squirrels, obviously. Those aren't the most exciting out there, but that's all right. Because on my visits, I've seen bears run across the road, bears right along the road, bighorn sheep along the road, herds of elk, coyotes going near a herd of bison, a pronghorn antelope in Lamar Valley right along the river, a marmot right next to the geysers. There are countless animals in Yellowstone National Park. And I think it's already regarded as one of the best for wildlife. And I have to agree with that. If you want to go somewhere and get some photos of some of the wonderful mammals and other animals living in America, I think Yellowstone National Park should be first on your list. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your favorite wildlife settings in national parks. Subscribe for more national park content, hopefully coming soon. I'll see you next time.